Some app developers, including Hippotrix, describe their products as digital toys rather than games. So we thought we'd make this short vlog to explain what a digital toy actually is. Broadly speaking, there are three kinds of mobile apps for young children, each of which has a counterpart in the real physical world. Games, storybooks and digital toys. All of them are dynamic, interactive and communicative. All of them are entertaining to varying degrees, but also contain scope for educational outcomes. However, they vary quite widely in the kinds of narrative they employ and the amount of freedom they offer to their users. A game is quite easy to define. It has a set of rules, is time limited and contains an element of competition. Sometimes you might play against another person, sometimes against a computer or sometimes against the creator of the game. Think of something like Patience or Solitaire. If you think about a game like Scrabble, which you can play on a mobile device or in the real world, the experiences are broadly similar. The app version might automate some of the real-world experiences for you, like choosing tiles, but the rules and the goals remain the same. A storybook's equally simple to define. It follows an explicit narrative generally prescribed by the author. Users can move forward and backward at will by turning pages, and it allows for infinite repetition. You can read it as many times as you like. The enhancements you commonly find in ebooks include narration, highlighting specific words in the text, and little animations that bring it to life. A toy is quite different from a storybook or a game. Instead of a set of rules, you can use it however you like, feeding a wooden block to a doll as part of a tea party, for example. You decide what story the toy will tell, not an adult author, and you can explore all the options in a freeform, participatory way. There are no time limits, no rewards for success or punishments for failure, and you can replay the experience as many times as you like. Most importantly, you can share the experience with others or play on your own. Parents can enjoy exploring a toy with their child until they're ready to have their own adventures. Exactly the same is true of digital toys. Swedish developers Toka Boka are well known for their range of fantastic toys, from hairdressing to building blocks, and my family's personal favourite, Toka Tea Party. Perhaps most delightfully, these apps allow the making of mistakes, like spilling a drink. Children love to break the rules, and a mess-free digital environment is the perfect place to do that. We've chosen to turn Catherine Wheel's show White into a digital toy rather than a game or an enhanced storybook. There's not yet an established formula for turning a theatre experience into an app, but we think that the non-competitive, non-didactic, exploratory nature of digital toys is the perfect fit for Catherine Wheel's work. Thanks very much for watching.